Hello, Harvest Time family. I'm Dom Crincoli. And I'm Brad Aplegren. This week marks the start of the Jump In Capital campaign for our Phase Two building expansion, where we're due to break ground next summer on our beautiful 1,000-seat sanctuary, which is nearly four times what we can accommodate in any single worship service today. This new sanctuary will be the centerpiece of our church campus and the heart of our church body. God's fingerprints are all over this campaign. All of us connected with it are feeling a sense of divine purpose and destiny, like we're connected to something much larger than ourselves. This week's theme is about jumping into God's mission, where we'll use this new sanctuary to fulfill Jesus' call to seek and to save that which was lost, reaching across racial and generational divides to become a house of prayer for all nations. The love of God that is placed in our heart can only grow if we give it away to the lost and to the broken and to the hurting. He calls us to give our love away and I believe in my heart that when God wants to bless you, he presents you with an opportunity to give. Before I hand it over to Brad, I want to connect something in your mind and heart. The reality of a changed life in this building. This structure that accommodates the ministries that produce it. There's a divine connection. And there's a divine connection between the expansion of this building and the fulfillment of our destinies individually and as a body. They may not seem connected, but I believe they're inextricably bound. I believe you can't have one without the other. There's two videos in this email that illustrate this truth vividly. Brad? Thanks, Dom. The campaign will last for the next four weeks and will culminate in a commitment weekend on the 16th and 17th of November. This is a weekend where we will ask you to jump in and bring your commitment card to the altar. But before then, you will have some time to think about what gift you will make to God over the next three years. Giving to God is not a small decision, and you must be wondering how you go about making it. We use the help of the four Ps. Prayer, proportion, peace, and pleasing. Prayer, this is where it all starts. Don't rush the decision, pray through it. God will give you the gift that He is expecting from you. Proportion, your gift is about faith and sacrifice, not about quantity. It's not about giving the same as the person next to you. It's all about the gift that God wants you to give. And peace, God will give you peace. It's either gonna be a calm sensation or a confirmation after the fact. Somebody will say something that confirms that your gift was the right one, or something will happen that confirms that your gift is the right gift. And pleasing. Our commitment must be pleasing to God. Now what does this mean? You can ask yourself a couple of questions. Does this amount require me to trust God? Does the amount show that I value my hope in eternal life more than material things here on this earth? Does the amount represent a genuine sacrifice? Does it represent a level of thanksgiving I have for the ways of Christ and how this church has blessed my life and family? So while you consider the gift that you would like to give to God for phase two, I ask that you go through the four Ps, prayer, proportion, peace, and pleasing. Okay, church, thanks for listening. God bless. Have a great week.